Welcome back to another Bougie on a Budget with Candy Poo. I got another cutie pie over here to share with you ladies on today. This video is in collaboration with ZoeBags.ru. ZoeBags.ru, okay? So I did, you know, go on their site, you guys, and pick me out a cutie pie over here. And your girl is working with a Fendi today. By the way, how's everybody doing? Y'all doing all right? I don't want to not ask y'all that question before I get started into my video. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And those that has been rocking with me for a while, what's going on, girl? How you been doing? You been doing all right? I hope so. So if you haven't already, please hit that bell to receive all notifications when I upload a video. And also, please subscribe if you have not, if you're just you know, coming along and, you know, just trying to check me out, you know, just hit that subscribe button so you'll see what Candy Poo is throwing out over here, okay? So, let's just jump right into it, you guys. I do have a Fendi right here, and it came pretty packaged well, y'all. It did come with a gift bag right here, okay, just in case you want to, you know, give this to somebody. You can store it in that bag, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and do this unboxing together. This is what it looks like, okay? And it comes with the receipts and stuff like that inside of the box. Go ahead and take all the plastic and stuff like that off, y'all. This is the dust bag, all right? It does have Fendi on the dust bag, y'all, just in case y'all may see this little, this little sticker right here. This is what your girl is working with. I just love that they be packaging their, their bags so well, y'all. So if y'all ever order from any one of these sites, just know you're going to get a packaged well, you know, nice box. Everything is going to be, you know, guaranteed, packaged really well and nice. And uh, I don't think nothing should be damaged when you get your, when you get your bag because I'm never disappointed at all so this is what candy poo is rocking with okay ain't this a beauty y'all ain't this a beauty too cute it does have plastic here i'm gonna go ahead and take the plastic off so y'all already know there was plastic here on the gold hardware okay we're gonna open her up this is what the inside looks like. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take everything out. Look how they got this package, though. Look at that, y'all. It's just some paper or whatever, but, man, they be taking out the time, though. Like I said, y'all, to give us a really good packaged bag. This is the strap. Okay, we have the plastic here on the tips, which I will be taking it off. All right, and then we have, this is just probably a couple of uh, Fendi cards and stuff like that. This is what the inside of the bag looks like. We also have another strap, and this is just the short, the short uh, uh, hand strap just in case you want to hold it, you know, with your hand, okay? And it also has the gold hardware here at the end, and we have the plastic at the end, which I'll be taking it off. But this is pretty much what it looks like, y'all. We have a pocket here. Okay, you can store whatever you want. And by the way, because I didn't even mention this, y'all, but your girl has, the Fendi uh, baguette in the medium. And we have the FF print going throughout the whole entire bag, even at the bottom. Okay, and of course, I got this in the color black with the gold hardware. Okay, I just want to throw that in there because y'all listen. <laughs> Trying to share with you guys how everything is packaged so well. Okay. But like I was saying, y'all, we have a pocket here, all right? This is the inside of the bag. And I feel like 
the medium size Fendi is a really nice size y'all I love the quality on this one and this is the Napa leather which is somewhat like a, a soft leather and um, yeah you have to be a little bit careful when you know um, toting this as well because if you snag it on something or scratch it you may end up seeing your scratch or snag due to the the Napa leather is really soft and delicate okay so you have to be really really careful I'm gonna go ahead and add my uh, medium strap so we do have two two strap uh, holders right here and I don't even know if I'm saying it right y'all but y'all know what I mean right okay so we have one here and we have one in the inside of the bag so this strap goes in the inside of the bag and then we have the shoulder strap goes on the outside of the bag so I'm gonna go ahead and a strap my straps really quick y'all and your girl be right back okay all right y'all so this is what she looks like with both of the straps on okay so we have the the little hand uh strap here to where you can just tote it like this and i'm gonna show y'all real quick actually let me see if i can move back so y'all can see okay so y'all can hold it like this but of course you're gonna hold it down like this even though y'all can't see it but yeah it's almost like a tote if you want to hold it like this with your hand okay because the strap right here is really short okay so you cannot put this on your shoulders y'all okay you can stick your arm though in it like this if you want to wear it this way now we have the shoulder strap here which is a little bit thicker okay and we can wear it like this on our shoulders or we can also wear it as a crossbody, which y'all already know I'm probably going to wear mine as a crossbody. Because normally when I'm vlogging and I'm holding my camera and stuff like that, y'all, I just like to wear it like this. Okay, and it's actually very comfy. I love this strap, y'all. It also has the Fendi logo right here. Just, just engraved right here. On the little buckle part at the bottom where you attach the uh attach the strap okay and i think it's on this one as well it's on both of these straps all right y'all so y'all can wear this bag either or okay so this bag does come in many more other colors y'all if y'all don't want the black they have it in white they also have it in a brown print um i did see it in a pink um I think I also saw this in a red as well, y'all. So they do have this bag in many more other colors. Also, they have it in different sizes. Of course, I got the medium. They do have the mini, and they do have a large size. But y'all know, like I always say, child, I try to get bags to where I know how much stuff I'm going to put in them. And I think I'd rather have this size because I really don't store a lot of stuff in my bags due to my crossbody the way that I wear them as a crossbody um, I don't store a lot of stuff you know in them so that's the reason why I got the size medium but you know if you like a lot of stuff in your bag child I do recommend you getting the large okay because they do have one that's a little bit bigger than this one but however the um, price on this one y'all on their website is three hundred and thirty six dollars which is not bad now the retail price for this bad boy is three thousand two hundred and ninety dollars okay so i just feel like 336 is a decent price due to the quality okay the quality is really nice and this surely does look like you know the twin of the real one i'm just saying girl it really does it mimics the real one really well it has no scratches no scuffs um the bag just it just be in pretty good shape y'all it does not have a bad smell to the bags or anything and your girl is gonna tell y'all the truth okay these bags be looking like the twin okay so yeah i just feel like 336 like i said that's a perfect price for this bag okay perfect price for this bag do to 3000 and something no ma'am if you got it like that then go right ahead baby but mm, i'd rather pay the 336 
But anyways, I do have a coupon code for you ladies, which is CP50. You will save an extra $50 off. Yes, your girl said $50. So if you get on the site, purchase any bag from this website, you are guaranteed $50 off, okay? You just type in that code and you will receive that $50 off, okay? So yes, girl, y'all finna roll with me for a minute. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick bag review. I will jot down everything you guys need to know in my description box, website, Instagram, WhatsApp, um, and the direct link to this bag. All right, so I'm finna head out, you guys. I wanted you guys to roll with me for a minute. Um, I was trying to find this, this store I wanted to go in, child, but I don't know if I'm gonna go. But anyways, y'all come, let's roll, and um, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all when I get in the car, okay? What's going on, babes? Y'all finna roll with me real quick to Ross. I am looking for me some more bras, yes. And I probably grabbed me a couple of panties too, y'all, because y'all know Ross always have like the cutest little bras and panties and stuff like that at a great price. So that's what I'm looking for. Now I did see when I was up in Rainbows, when I took y'all in there, I don't think I broadcast that part though. But I did see some really cute like um, short 90s and stuff like that. You know, like the little shirt and the shorts to go to bed in. I got a couple of them, but I was gonna rack up on me some more, child. But you know what? I don't even know if I'm, I don't know if I wanna grab none due to it's finna start getting cold so the weather is like cooling down a little bit and you want to be warm you don't want to be freezing going to bed but you also want to be cute and sexy for your hubby when you're going to bed as well so i may grab a couple of little short uh uh pajama sets but i don't think i'm gonna do it today I know I'm gonna go up in Ross though and see if I can find be some nice bras because I need some more bras, y'all. I do the ones that I was wearing. I'm really not liking them no more. Due to me going up in TJ Maxx a couple of months ago, finding well actually I'm gonna say on my birthday and I find all that stuff. I went up in there and bought me some bras and I did share those particular bras I believe I did in my birthday haul I'm not for sure though but I picked up me some um, nautical bras y'all and I purchased those at TJ Maxx a while back those are some really really nice comfy bras that I wish I could find some more just like that um, at Ross but I went back to TJ Maxx and I couldn't find not a one nautical bra. Not the ones that I that I purchased a while back, y'all. I searched and searched when I went up in that store, girl. And I could not find any. And they come like as a set of three. So you're getting three nautical bras for $19.99, which is it's, it's, a, it's an awesome little deal. It ain't too bad. Because, you know, they are name brand bras. But I was looking for those. Hopefully, I can find some exactly like that at Ross. I don't know, y'all. But I am headed up here real quick to see what Ross has. I wanted to take y'all to the new Ross. Because they got a new Ross off, um, oh, what's the name of this street? Because it's sitting in the, uh, just put it this way, y'all. If y'all know where the East Gate Shopping Center is, if y'all live in Memphis, it's supposed to be a new Ross over there. I don't know if it's open yet, but I want to take y'all over there because it's supposed to be sitting like probably a couple of buildings down from Burlington's over there. And then there's also a Dollar Tree over there as well. So... I wanted to take y'all over there to that Ross, but I'm gonna head over here to this one cause girl, it look like it's gonna storm out here. Okay, and 
candy poo does not want to be out here in all this rain. I do got my little umbrella or whatever, but child, listen, girl. People cannot drive out here when it's raining. Better yet, they cannot drive even when it's dry out here. I saw so many accidents yesterday when I was dropping Jemiah off at school and picking her up. I'm saying to myself, what is wrong with these people? What are they doing in their car to where they are not paying attention, girl? Baby. Then this morning, when I took Jemiah to school, girl, all I heard was a <clears throat> That's all I heard. How about a car? Well, actually, a truck, because it wasn't no car. A green-looking a uh, truck with the bed on the back how about this truck i guess they ran the light child and another bigger truck like a pickup truck was leaving from out of exxon gas station girl the truck ran the light and the other truck coming from at the gas station the green truck just smacked dead into the into the other pickup truck just just uh, ran straight into the back of the uh, other truck bed, girl. The, the bed of the truck, the back part of it. Girl, I was like, Lord, have mercy. I just thank God that I be covered and protected and anointed every day I leave my house. Because like I said, child, these people, they be doing everything out here other than paying attention. I don't know if they be sleep, half sleep, girl, <laughs> on the phone, texting. I don't know what these people be out here doing, but they be doing too much of everything else other than paying attention to the road. Girl, that's the reason why y'all rarely see me on my phone. Y'all rarely see me on my phone now, because I gotta stay focused. Because even if you paying attention, somebody else probably not. So, y'all just keep y'all eyes on the road, because even if somebody not paying attention and you are, you can be the person to avoid the accident. You know, while this other person over here got their eyes somewhere else or doing something else in their car that they ain't got no business other than looking in front of them. So, y'all just be safe and be careful out here because, like I said, people, <laughs> girl, these people cannot drive. I tell you the truth, they cannot drive out here in Memphis, Tennessee, whether it's raining or it's dry just can't drive so I try my best to be cautious pay attention and continue to stay focused on this road girl cuz I don't need no accidents none whatsoever and I really don't feel like going through nothing like that cuz that's like a, a hurtful impact your car tow up you hurt you probably got broken bones and everything is child so <laughs> Girl, mm. we just all gotta keep it safe out here, baby. We gotta keep it safe. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Well, listen, y'all. I'm finna be at Ross in the next five minutes. And as soon as I get in the parking lot, I'm gonna show y'all what I got in my bag. I'm gonna do a what's in my purse for y'all, cause I did bring my cute little Fendi bag. I am toting it. And uh, I put all of my items in there that, you know, that I normally carry in my bag. And I'm gonna let y'all see what's in my bag when I stop and park. Okay. Oh, this place is crowded, y'all. Man, this place is crowded. Let me think of my bag, cause I don't want nobody not having no room to get out. I'm gonna bag up in this parking spot right here. And I don't like coming to this road, y'all. I used to like coming over here. I don't like coming to this one no more. Because every time I come over here, they really don't have nothing. Or the line be way, way, way too long to make you just want to just get your whole basket. Just go kindly put everything back that you got in your basket and just walk out the store. Because the line be all the way down the aisle, y'all. Like, one of the aisles that people... Like when you first walking into Ross and you walking straight down that aisle, that's where you see the line at. It be that long. So baby, I be like, man, mm -mm. if the line too long, 
I'm not finna stand this long line. And I can have like three items in my basket, child. You think I'm finna stand in line for that? Mm-mm. I'll just come back bright early in the morning and grab what I'm gonna grab and get up out of there. But anyway, y'all, I'm toting my little Fendi. I'm finna share with you guys real quick what's in my bag, what I carry in it. Okay, so right here I got my lip glosses. This is just one of my lip glosses. And then I have my wallet, my hand sanitizer. I got my Dove lotion. Um, what else I got in here? These are my uh, camera uh, vlogging batteries that I gotta keep in my bag just in case one of my batteries go down while I'm in the store. And then this is my uh, perfume refiller. So it's basically like if you if you don't want to carry like a big bottle of your perfume in your bag or just say for instance you got like a body spray that you want to carry with you and spread on you while you out girl these little things right here they come in handy this was actually gifted to me from one of my yt sisters i think it was some years ago and i still got it y'all and it's just a little perfume um little holder or whatever so you can take it out y'all see that you actually can unscrew this and pour your favorite body spray or perfume or whatever that you you want to carry you just put it in there after this is gone you can refill it with anything okay and you can just put it in your little perfume little holder and stick it in your bag so yeah y'all that's pretty much all I got in here just everything that I need girl I do not carry much but I just got everything that I need and that's pretty much it y'all I ain't got nothing else up in here girl that's it and it closes up perfectly see it and one thing about me I don't stuff now one of my purses y'all if I feel like I want to carry more than what any one of my crossbody bags can hold, I'll just end up getting me a big bag and carry that. Oh, I'm gonna put my cell phone in here too, y'all. Just put my cell phone over here to the side. Y'all see that? And it can basically fit everything that I got in here. Everything goes in here perfectly, okay? So I'm gonna run up in this browser real quick and we're gonna see what your girl can find. Right, let me put my mask on, girl. So I ain't finna leave. Let me sit y'all back down. I ain't finna leave up at this car without no mask. No, ma'am. Put this mask on real quick, y'all. And I'm finna be headed on up in there, girl. Okay. I see that they done put out some of their little fall decor over here. They got a lot of Halloween stuff over here too, girl. Even over here, just costumes and stuff like that, that's all. Cute little MK bag right here. Y'all, I do see some bras down here, but hopefully they got my size and the ones that I'm looking for. I really want the bras that don't have like no no iron down here at the bottom of them so hopefully I can get lucky and find me some child
see y'all, these are some nautical bras right here, but they just got one on the hanger chair. They see it, I need like three of them. <laughs> Here. They real cute. They some Jessica Simpson thing. Got no uh iron at the bottom of them. I'm trying to see if I can find some more and not make that my only choice. But I really don't see a lot of options here. But I'm still looking, child. Y'all know the bras, they got like them real thick, like pads in them. Girl, I cannot stand them bras. Like this is just too much, too much uh, pad right here. I just can't wear no bras like this. Now y'all, I found some more Nautica bras right here. These are actually my size. But I don't see no price on them because I know this ain't the price. $58. This ain't even the roast price. So I wonder how much these is. I'm going to take them to the register and ask somebody how much these right here cost. But these are actually the bras that I actually got on. Now the wire down here, I took the wire out of them and uh, that's the reason why they so comfy to me because I don't, I can't do the bras with the wires y'all like I mentioned, mentioned before. Now, I do prefer just to get some bras without the wire, but when I can find some that I really like and you know, they comfy to me, girl, I cut that wire out in a minute, honey. So, I'm gonna see how much these cost. So y'all, how about, here go the price right here, child. How did I not see this? They $20.99. Girl, I just overlooked it. <laughs> I was looking again. I'm just like, here are the price right here. But yeah, $29.99 is not bad. And I was gonna pick up those Jessica Simpson uh, bras because those were really cute as well. But you're only getting like two of them. And they were $13.99, I think. I think they were these right here. I was gonna pick up these. Cause these are cute too y'all the padding of, of them it ain't too much and then these right here don't come with with wire at all at the bottom so i don't know i may just grab these y'all oh shoot this ain't even my size Y'all, I'm finna start looking at they panties. I did grab one already, but I'm still looking over here just to see what I can find, okay? So y'all, listen, I came over here as well and looking at they little 90s or whatever. And I see a lot of 90s that got like pants to them, which I kind of figured that y'all, because like I told y'all, it's gonna start getting cold and they don't really have a lot of short uh, pajama fits. So they got some cute ones though.
kind of stuff they got on their shelves, child. It looks like they restocked their clothes. And uh, it looks like they restocked a couple of their uh, furniture pieces over there. You know, I ain't been over there. I just looked at like glanced over there when I walked over here. But I'm gonna take y'all over there too and see see what they got over there, child. But they just got a, a lot of little a lot of little stuff just sitting around on this aisle, mainly for your car. I just came down this aisle real quick, just to see what they had. They don't look like they really stopped they. Well, yes, they did. It's great. Girl, they stopped they pictures up. What? I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Look at this picture. That's cute. It's something different. It looks strange, but it's cute. I like this too. But girl, yeah, let me show y'all their pictures real quick. They just stuck up their pictures. Y'all done wrecked up, baby. Towel. Uh, towel. Towel. I'm one of them in this bag. Woo! Wee! Everybody in the house, like, in this bag. Everybody. Y'all done wrecked up, baby. Trim it. Trim it. Come on, hell. Come on, look at it. I ain't even gonna look over there, but that's my danger zone for real. Oh, Lord yeah. Jesus. Lady got be tripping, child. About her basket. These are cute, y'all. Girl, the lady then wrapped up in the basket. She said, everybody <laughs> then got something in the basket, the whole family. <laughs> Oh Lord, that was too funny, baby. But you know us black people, baby. We come in the store and grab maybe one or two items. Baby, we leave at the store with a whole basket full of stuff. Y'all don't know us. Y'all already know us, baby. So I do understand. <laughs> I do understand what she's talking about, baby. <laughs> she said Ross is her danger zone. <laughs> They don't have a lot of decor like on the shelves over here, but it looks like they put a little stuff. Y'all see this stuff up here? So they got a couple of cute little, you know, home decor little pieces that you sit around. Let me finish showing y'all these pictures, baby. I just got distracted. <laughs> this piece right here baby y'all already know i would have bought that if i had not already fixed up my beauty room yeah i would have bought it <laughs> this is pretty right here too and i got two of them for uh 24.99 these are so pretty right here. Man, I need to buy these, y'all. I really do. But you know what? Anything that I buy that's home decor, I really, to be honest with you, I'm kind of indecisive. Because I look at something like I need to buy some or something is real cute to me. But you know, I'm not really buying nothing though for the house that I'm in now. I'm actually buying for my new home if I do decide to pick up something. But I don't know how the new home gonna look. So 
it's really best for me not to purchase any home decor. Not right now, child. Here's all they little furniture over here. So they did like stock up over here and add a whole lot of little furniture pieces because I remember the last time you come up in here, child, they didn't have jack. I ain't really have nothing over here. This is a pretty color chair right here. This green is pretty. I like that color. This stool is pretty too. That little uh, mauve. I don't know if that's a mauve blush pink color, but that's pretty. Love this rug, y'all. Look at the color though. That is so pretty. Man, this is cute. I like this gray too. I just love the black and white detailing of it, y'all. It's cute. So I finally made over here to the uh, shoe section, y'all. And they got some pretty nice, some pretty nice shoes up in here that I didn't saw. These are different right here. Y'all see these boots? I mean, they not all dead, but they different though. You know, they'll be cute to wear like in the fall. These are cute too. They like some Burr Paul slides for $32.99. And they real soft, girl. Oh, I bet these babies will have your feet warm. <laughs> I like these right here too, y'all. Y'all see these? They're some cute little Puma uh, slides. They cute. These are cute. They like some DKNY. They like sneakers, just slide your feet in them with no socks. Those are cute right there, y'all. Real cute. Some little Nautica uh, sneakers right there. Let me show y'all they bags real quick, girl. I'm gonna get up out of here, Chad. I gotta go to the grocery store again for Jemima. Y'all already know what she's gonna cook. Y'all already know, baby. I ain't even gotta tell y'all. This is cute right here. Ain't this cute, y'all? It's a cute little red crossbody. That's cute. I ain't really got too many bags over here. This is kind of cute. It's a juicy couture. And this is the bags on this side, which, like I said, they ain't hardly got no bags, y'all. They really don't. Got nothing on this way. <laughs> I'm gonna go on over here and check out y'all for the ladies with the basket full of stuff. Get in line before me, child, because I can't wait. Uh-uh. Oh, child, I'm finally up out of there, y'all. Y'all see this little Halloween spirit uh, place right here? Now, that used to be, um, what that used to be? That used to be Shoe Con. Yeah, Shoe Con. And they done put a spirit Halloween right there, which I know that place right there, y'all, they only put those places there during Halloween season. Once Halloween is over, it's like, <laughs> Girl, the building is gone because y'all know Halloween don't last that long. So, ain't nobody gonna be constantly going back and forth up in no Halloween place after Halloween is over. So, once Halloween comes and goes, girl, they gonna go out of business. And that building ain't even gonna be there no more. I already know, because they didn't move from right here. Well, actually, they didn't move from down this road up here because they was in another whole shopping center down here and then they moved down here. So, that Halloween spirit place, child, they cannot keep a building. I'm just saying. <laughs> Whew. But anyway, girl. I grabbed what I, what I wanted from out of Ross. I was gonna pick up me some, um, some candles up in there because I ran across the candle eye but I ain't have my camera camera on. What is dick? And touch my leg, girl. I don't want nothing. Okay. But like I was saying, <clears throat> I 
I went down to Candle Isle before uh, I was headed on up out of there. And I was looking at the candles. I was trying to grab me like two of them, but I kept thinking to myself, if I purchase these candles, I wonder, are they gonna actually smell like something? Cause I don't think I ever bought any Ross candles before y'all, or have I? Have I ever broadcast that y'all? Cause I really don't even remember child. I do not remember. I'm always getting my candles from Bath and Body Works or um, I've picked up some candles from Walmart before. But I don't remember buying a candle at Ross. Hmm, I think my mom purchased one before. Though. I don't remember buying them. But anyways, child, if y'all purchased a candle at Ross and when you burn it, it smelled like something, let me know. Because I think I told y'all the same this same stuff when I was up in uh, was it TJ Maxx y'all or was I up in Burlington? I don't know where I was, girl. I was somewhere and I had asked y'all that question, but I was surely finna buy me a candle, but I was just like, nah. I just gone gone back to Bath and Body Works and get my little one week candles, two for twenty that I know gonna have a whole house smell like some. But anyways, y'all, I just purchased these bras. I just got the Jessica Simpson bras, y'all, instead of the Nautica bras, because I was just like, well, let me just try these, because these right here, they don't even have the, the, uh, the iron at the bottom of them, and the Nautica bras that I purchased, which I so love those, and like I was telling y'all, I did cut the, the wire out the bottom of my nautica bras but they still feel comfy on with the wire not being in them but um i put the other ones back y'all and i'm just like well let me try these because if i like these then i'll start purchasing the jessica simpson bras for now these were a little cheaper too these were nothing but 13.99 so i picked these up right here just two of them and then I also grabbed me a five pack, a five pack of panties right here, y'all. Which I ain't gonna let y'all just see my panties like that, girl. But just know, your girl got a five pack and I needed these. <laughs> I needed these, okay? I was gonna grab me a little cute pajama set too, but I kept saying to myself, No, y'all i just didn't like those i mean someone was cute that juicy couture one it was like the pink and black one i think i liked it that one that one was cute and then the um the baby blue and white like almost like a zebra print stripe but it was baby blue and white that one was pretty cute as well but i'm just like man i'll just wait I just wait to grab me some cute little nighties. Well, I'm finna head over here to the grocery store, y'all, real quick. Y'all wanna go with me to the grocery store? Y'all done already uh been with me to the grocery store on, on one of my other vlogs for Jamaya, cause y'all know she worth some. Now, she texts my phone talking to me about some jambalaya again now it's been it's been a month since she made some some jambalaya because the last time she made the jambalaya was i think it was either last month or the month before y'all i don't know child but it's been a month since she didn't have some more jambalaya so she texts my phone talking about mama can you go on to the store and buy me some more jambalaya stuff going up in here y'all I'm telling y'all I don't feel like going up in this grocery store but you know what my baby gotta eat and every time me and her go to the grocery store and buy food I tell her all the time 
Jemiah, because the last time y'all we went to the grocery store was like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Or was it three weeks ago? No, it was two weeks ago. And I did not vlog. Me and her went to the grocery store. Okay. I told Jemiah to specifically grab everything that she needs for her food that she likes to eat. I already know what my husband likes to eat. I already know what I like to eat. But I have to tell her because she's such a picky eater. She's such a picky eater, y'all. When I tell y'all, Jemiah does not really eat half of the food that I make cook for me and Louis. Because, you know, I can do Louis some soul food, child. Just like, what, I think it was like three days ago. I cooked Louis some baked some other pork chops, which he loved. Um, a pot of green beans. And uh, I did some mashed potatoes. Okay. I made her eat that, but instead of her eating the pork chops, I cooked her some Salisbury steak because she's always telling me, uh, mama, I don't like that thick pork chop. Cause you know, sometimes I'll buy the center chops and I won't buy those breakfast chops cause I normally buy the thin breakfast chops cause I like them better. But this go round, I had bought some center chops and I smothered them real good and some gravy and let them bake in the oven, girl, the meat was falling off the bone, you hear me? Me and Louis tore that food up. Jemiah, she ate some of it, but like I said, I had to cook her uh, some Salisbury steak because she didn't want to eat the pork chops. Like I tell y'all, this child so doggone picky when it come to food, baby. This go round right here, I literally told her, listen, you gonna have to pay for this food. You got money in your bank, so you're gonna have to pay for two pots of jambalaya that you're trying to make yourself. Now I'm gonna have to go over my mama house and get her pot, y'all, cause I ain't got but one pot. And y'all noticed that the last time Jemiah made a pot of it, she made one pot, but it was in my mom's pot. But she made it again and she made two pots of it because that one pot wasn't enough. And this girl could eat jambalaya for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And she can also do it again before she go to bed for a snack. I mean, I don't see why she not tired of it. But listen, as long as she eat, she getting full. I don't care what she eat. I really don't, as long as I ain't got to constantly eat it like that. Cause I get sick of it, y'all. I'm just saying, I get sick of it. Just eating it like that, but Jemiah is so picky, like I said, child. She want what she want. If it's some food that's cooked and she don't want that, she'll find her something else to eat. She'll eat some cereal. She'll grab a bag of chips. Anything other than the food that's already cooked that she really don't too much care for it, she ain't gonna eat. She'll go in the kitchen and eat everything else up and not eat the food that she don't too much care for. That's how she is. That's the reason why she's so small because she's a very picky eater. She just wants the food that she wants, which is ridiculous. I hate to say it like that, but it's sad. It's really sad. <sighs> But I told her, I said, you're going to have to pay for this little food that I'm going to pick up at Crow. Because I just literally went to the grocery store and bought 200 and some worth of food, which I got what I normally, you know, get for me and Louis and her to eat. Because we don't eat much anyway. Like, it's just three of us. So I don't have to go stock up and buy bukus of food because... Louis rarely bees there, and when he is there, I cook, you know, or whatever, and he'll eat on that. Jemiah, if she not really too much wanting what I cook, like I said, she'll go for something else, and then, of course, I'll eat. Other than that, child, listen, our food, it lasts in the house, and when there's some food in there like a lot of junk food which is like french fries stuff to make burgers with um just little food that you can throw in the microwave or something quick to eat or that that type of food it don't last long but me actually getting in the kitchen cooking like uh 
a home cooked meal girl that food it'll last for about a week and after that it's gone but me and Louis been the ones that ate it all but Jemaya she really not gonna touch it unless I make her eat it because she needs she needs vegetables and I be cooking vegetables and stuff and she don't be wanting to eat sweet peas green beans corn she don't I mean she like corn on the cob she'll eat like some loose corn in the can but she don't too much care for green vegetables unless it's a salad and she likes the iceberg lettuce which really don't have any minerals in it so girl I got to get her some sort of nutrients in her body some way somehow even if I gotta make her eat just a little bit of it because <sighs> she's just so picky so y'all pray for me just pray for me child because what I'm gonna do with Jemaya what I'm gonna do with her? what am I gonna do with y'all what am I gonna do with her she has to be taught one way or the other listen I just went to the grocery store. I told you to grab some food and you grabbed all this little snack food, hamburger helper and all this type of stuff and didn't grab nothing for to make a jambalaya. That's your fault. Now, you're going to have to give me $20 for all your little jambalaya items that you want. Up to $20, please. Because Jemaya, she's going to have to be taught. She's literally going to have to be taught. Jemaya really thinks money grows on trees and long as she's spending mama and daddy money when she when she got money she don't want that responsibility and by her being 16 she needs responsibility now i don't know how y'all treat y'all children or y'all kids but mine which i'm just gonna say jamaya because marquise is grown jamaya she's gonna learn and she's gonna be taught so when she get 18, she will have that responsibility into learning how to do things for herself instead of always looking for mom and daddy to buy for her. Even when she get a little boyfriend or whatever, she don't need to look for him all the time to buy her this and that. I mean, it's, it's good for your boyfriend to buy you certain things, but when it gets to the point where you, you, you can't take her yourself as a woman, that's an issue. That's a big issue. And you just want everybody around you or everybody else to lend you this, hand you this, buy you this. And you can't never do nothing for yourself. Mm -mm. That's the wrong way of growing up. The wrong way of growing up. So as a mother, I'm trying to teach her. I'm not trying to be real hard on her, but I'm trying to teach her. Because like I said, when she has the opportunity to to grab stuff while she's at the store when I tell her to her attitude gets her to the point where it, it messes up her blessing I'm just gonna say that it messes up her blessing because as long as you got a bad attitude and your parents say well go and grab this or we gonna take you here so you can get that and your attitude all snobby and you all nonchalant with your parents and stuff no nah, I don't want that and mm -mm, I don't want to go no, mm -mm. that's the type of attitude she got. Me and Louis could take her to the mall and tell her, Jemaya, what kind of shoes you want? Uh, I don't want to go to the mall. What? Girl, we trying to bless you with some shoes. And you talking about you don't want to go? Okay, stay at home then. That's the type of attitude she got. Just like what I was saying earlier. Okay, I'm at the grocery store, Jemaya. Go ahead and grab you everything you need to grab while I'm while I'm picking up groceries. Her attitude. <sighs> Mama, now you already know I don't like being at the grocery store. Why I got to grab it? Why I got to get it? See, that type of attitude right there, that's why you ain't got what you need. So this time, I'm going to fix your attitude. You going to pay for your own little food. Now, next time you go to the store with me, then you'll grab everything you need instead of having an attitude. Now, you just cost yourself to spend your own coins on the food that you finna cook because of your attitude. I'm sorry, y'all, but I gotta teach you. I don't know if y'all going through the same stuff I'm going through, but listen, can't nobody tell me how to raise Jemiah because I know how she is, y'all. 
I know how she is. And I hate I got to bring her up the way that I'm bringing her up because of her attitude, y'all. <sighs> I'm going to say this. She ain't going to get nowhere in life if her attitude stays like that. She ain't going to get no job that she wants because of her attitude. She ain't going to probably have a whole lot of friends because of her attitude. And even if she out here in the streets when she get grown and she trying to do this and do that, everybody not going to stand for her attitude. Everybody not going to stand for that. So that's the reason why as a mother, y'all, I be trying to teach her and show her while she is a teenager, baby. Because I'm going to tell you something. Those daughters can take you down through there. Because I once was a teenager. And I know my mama can tell y'all a story on how I used to act and be. And the way Jemiah is, that's probably how I was toward my mama. Because y'all already know it ain't nothing but a cycle. Y'all already know whenever you do whatever you do when you a child. Okay, whatever you done in your teenage life that was just bad, okay, wasn't good. You, when you get grown, you're gonna reap everything that you did to your mama and your daddy when you have kids. So basically everything that I did to my mama, it's just coming all back to me with my child. And I don't know if y'all are going through the same thing. Like I said, I don't know if y'all going through the same thing I'm going through, but however you treat your mama, Trust me, baby. It's going to come back on you with your own kids, but probably worse. That's why <laughs> it's good to be obedient to your parents and listen. It's good to respect your parents, to do what they say do, and not be so attitudish and have an attitude and be so disrespectful to your parents to the point where they don't even want to buy you nothing. They really half of the time don't even want to say nothing to you because your attitude is so screwed up. Like, you just don't want to have that type of mother and daughter relationship, which a lot of us, I can say we have experienced that because I've experienced that with my mom before, y'all. It was a point of time to where I would call my auntie mama. I would call Smoochy Mama. That's how bad it was. My mama, I don't know what it was, but she would lead me around Smoochy all the time anyways. And my attitude toward my mama, it wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Then I didn't like her husband. I mean, it's just a long story, y'all. I'm I'm just being truthful. I did not like her husband at first, but as I got older and older, I realized that he was the only dad that I had due to my biological father dying. He was the only father dad figure that I had while I'm sitting up here acting all silly and being disrespectful to him. I feel bad. I regret all of that. Now that I'm grown and I can look back, like, I wish I would have never did that, you know? But, man, it's just a bad feeling to just think about this stuff, y'all. It's just a bad feeling. But overall, I'm just thankful that my mama and my daddy put up with my attitude they brought me up to be the young woman that I am today. And I thank God for just taking me up under his wings and just showing me along the way, punishing me, you know, showing me different things, taking me through stuff because I was hard headed. And then I began to see and learn that listening to your parents is the best way to go when you are a teenager, when you are a child, period until you get grown because out here in these streets these people don't care about you baby they don't they don't care whether you live you die they don't care what they do to you so just listen to your mama and your daddy that's that's all i'm gonna say just listen to your mama and your daddy because the way this world is now hmm 
children, adults, they dying left to right. Not only due to COVID, but it's people just walking up in the gas station shooting people. Shooting them on the expressway. You know, walking up in the store shooting people. It's just people just, now that the law is that anybody can carry a gun now, girl, they quick. They quick to put a bullet in somebody. So, who chair? Man, this, this world has, has come to be so evil. Sometimes, y'all, I just wish the Lord can take me on home. But I know I got works to do for the Lord. I got a family, and I don't want to just leave here like that. I really don't. But anyway, girl, I'm going to talk y'all head off. I'm at Kroger. I'm going to get uh, Jemiah's stuff real quick. And I'm going to head back to the house, y'all. I know y'all probably don't want to go up in here with me, do y'all? I ain't going to take y'all up in here with me. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to hurry up and grab what I need for it start pouring down rain out here. I'm surprised it really ain't rained like it's supposed to been have rained, y'all. Like, God is held in the rain. Is he held in the rain because I'm in the streets? <laughs> if he is, Father, I really do appreciate you. And I thank you, Daddy. I thank you. Yes, y'all, I be calling God Daddy sometimes, baby. Because sometimes, girl... He got to be my daddy, baby. He got to be my dad. I got to call on him. But I'm going to run up in here, y'all. I'll be right back, okay? 2,000 years later. Whew! Y'all, the rain caught me, girl. I was hoping that it didn't catch me, but the sun is out. And it's also raining at the same time, baby. Oh, I was hoping that I was going to be at home before all this started. Oh, I was trying to hurry up y'all and get up at this stove, baby. Let me get my hand wipes. <sighs> oh, y'all. I still got to run by my mama house real quick. Y'all know what? I was finna say I should have bought a pot, but why would I buy two pots when I already got one? And this girl trying to make two two things of uh, jambalaya. Why would I go buy another pot? I already have a pot for her to make the jambalaya. She just, Jemiah just want to make two pots of it. So, I'm going to have to run over my mama's house. Just so I can get her pot. Because my mama, she normally don't even use that pot unless she making jambalaya. Or if it's like some sort of special occasion like Christmas or Thanksgiving, then she'll use it. Because I think she put her greens and stuff like that in it. Because the pot's so huge, child. But yeah. Anyways, I grabbed all Jemiah's stuff back there. Whew. Let me give me some lip gel. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the strength that you have given me on today, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because I need all my strength. I need every bit of it. <sighs> okay. Let me be on my little way, y'all. I know my mama, she should be. She should be at home. Cause I know she uh I know she just got out of work about an hour ago. And it's going on. It's going on seven o'clock. Dang, it's late. Not seven six, y'all. It's going on six o'clock. My hubby get off at seven. So hopefully he got time to shoot by the crib. See me for a minute before he go back to his his other uh post so i see that chick-fil-a crowded today baby yes that thing crowded i know when i went up in that line girl i was shocked i was so shocked i was in and out of there quick oh man 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 what y'all cooking today what y'all got on y'all menu for the day, baby? 
What y'all got on y'all menu? I think I'm gonna make me a homemade burger. That's what I got a taste for y'all. I'm gonna make me a homemade turkey burger. I got some turkey meat at home. Um, what else I got? Thank you, babe. Don't too many people let you out like that, girl. They be Bogarting in Memphis. They be trying to hurry up and get in front of you. So if you see somebody being polite, girl, you better accept that. Cause these people in Memphis, baby, they a trip. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'll make me some homemade turkey burgers. I'll probably make me and Louis death for them. Jemaya, she probably whip up, up two pots of jambalaya and eat on there for a whole month. Well, I ain't gonna say no punch, y'all. Like I said, the way she eat that, mm -mm, that stuff gonna be gone. Y'all hear me? It's gonna be gone probably within three weeks. Both pots gonna be gone. I may give me like maybe two bowls of it. She she gonna mess that food up like she always do. It don't it don't stay in the refrigerator long. Whether she cooking it or my mama cooking it, that stuff be gone, girl. But Jamal eat this stuff like, like that's all she got in the refrigerator to eat, baby. So, but anyways, I'm gonna do me and hubby some turkey burgers, some homemade turkey burgers, and some french fries. Because when I went to the grocery store, like I was telling y'all, I did, you know, buy some groceries and stuff. And I picked up some turkey meat, got some lettuce at home, got some tomatoes. Some cheese, and I did pick up some waffle fries too. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Me and hubby for dinner, y'all. Some turkey burgers, some homemade burgers, and some waffle fries. We gonna eat that today. Yeah. You know why my eye, my eye seem like it's just watering up for some reason. Girl, it is so black in front of me like the clouds are so black but you got this one open space where the sun is just there and it's just out but all the rest of the clouds are just black <laughs> so i already know <sighs> we finna get some rain 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 Another thing, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all what store I wanted to take y'all in, and I didn't know the name of it. Girl, the store right over there, it ain't even open yet, but it's called, uh, I can't see the name of it right now, but it's like a, I think it's like somewhat like a dollar store, but it's not Dollar Tree. I don't know, girl. I'm going to take y'all over there in a minute so y'all can see the name of the store, and it's coming soon, which I'm going to take y'all in there too, just as well as I'm going to take y'all take y'all up in that, uh, that new Dollar Tree that they got up there that I told y'all I was gonna take y'all in on my blog channel. Many of y'all probably don't know about my other little Dollar Tree over here on this channel because y'all probably don't watch my blog channel. So, yeah, for those that don't watch my blog channel, I'm taking y'all up in a new Dollar Tree. Mm-hmm, yep. And it's in the Walgreens building. <laughs> y'all know how big Walgreens is. So for them to have a Dollar Tree that big, girl, I'm taking y'all up in there. I can't wait to take y'all up in there. But as soon as I get this gas, I'ma uh, take y'all over there so y'all can see the name of this new other store that I wanna take y'all in. I'ma be right there. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm just now pulling up over here at this little shopping center. Oh, it's called Crazy Hot Deals. That's what it's called. So it's not a dollar store. I don't know why I thought this was a dollar store over here, y'all. But um, this building right here used to be a Fred's, y'all. And I used to come up in here some years ago before they closed down. But now, they finna make this store crazy hot deals. Y'all see that sign? No, oh, y'all cannot see that. Let me let my window down. Y'all see that? It says crazy hot deals. Crazy hot deals. So, I 
I wonder what this store right here is gonna be about. I just wonder. Is it gonna be somewhat like a I wanna be roses <laughs> or I wanna be big lots like hmm or it could even be like Ollie's y'all because Ollie's they got some crazy deals over there too like they got some some good old deals over there at Ollie's which I ain't been up in Ollie's in so long y'all but they prices are okay over there my thing is I can't wait till they open up this little store though over here child because I'm gonna be over here I'm gonna take y'all up in here too just so y'all can see what they got up in there and I hope the store don't get junky. Just like I said about the Dollar Tree, y'all. I just hope they take really good care of this store over here. I really do. Because, y'all, when a lot of people tend to know where certain stores at, that's when a lot of them just crowd up in the stores and just be throwing stuff everywhere. Stuff be all over shelves. It's just don't be organized no more, baby. Just stuff just be all over the place. <laughs> So, anyways, I'm headed to the house, y'all. And uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go to my mama house real quick, and then I'll be headed home. And I'm gonna end it here. Cause your girl ain't doing too much or nothing else. I just want y'all to hang out with me for a minute. Like y'all always do when I do a bag or a sneaker review or something. We want y'all just to kick it with your girl for a minute. So I hope y'all be safe out there and be blessed, okay? Y'all just take care of y'all selves, okay? Y'all take care of y'all selves. Y'all keep yourselves clean and stuff.